Here's a scenario called Checkers, which according to my note was made by a five-year-old boy and then tested by his father who found it to be winnable with no major defects. So let's see what he's made. Checkers. All right, people will be attacking me right away. Okay, so there are traps, got it. No comment. Immediate combat. All right, Black Phantom's pretty serious. I, this is a 10-10, but the way it uses enemies looks like it might be a little bit tougher than some of the other stuff I've been playing. I wonder if there's any healing available here. This might be a bit much for my character right now. Like a Black Phantom is a bit serious. I'm going to try to use attacks to get you down and heal to keep myself alive. Zap might be a better deal. It's hard to say. I'll try Zap. Well, I died. Okay. Well, there is another way to get through a situation like this, which is just to keep restarting. And that's my means of healing. All right then, so that might be how we get through this. I'm gonna guess, okay, there's the healing and stuff. I'm gonna guess this might not be particularly large. Yeah, I could tell that was a trap because the barbarian wasn't moving onto that tile, but I didn't really do anything with that information. I just walked right onto it. All right, so disarm, no comments. I guess the idea behind the name is just that this is all on a, on a checkerboard. You got white squares here and black squares. Apparently I'm a black piece. Can only be on the black. Okay, so there was a trap there. I could tell because there wasn't a message saying no trap. All right. Let's deal with some traps and barbarians. I'm gonna guess that warrior man up there is gonna want to fight me. Oops, I can't get the fountain. All right. So, wait door to things I don't actually need. Um, oh yeah, my range is that now. How nice. All right, so pretty simple, but still poses a potentially interesting challenge. Uh, no traps to disarm there. I always try to get all traps in a room just because they're worth experience each time one is disarmed. I know there's none of the Lava. Oh, I got shot by the warrior. Right. Okay, so he's unfriendly, of course. Everyone here is. Right. Uh, I do want to fight this guy if he wants to fight me. He does. All right. So, healing to the north. Possible exploration to the south. I can get some keys. I don't know if I need them. Whoops. Well, there's a trap there. Is there one there? There is. All right. Uh, trap is protecting me because warriors, I mean, knights' shots can't go through it. Uh, uh. Apparently my screen's, uh, my, my emulator's not running at a high enough frame rate to see exactly where my shots are going every time, but they go in a straight line. It's pretty obvious what's going on. Alright, no, can't heal with a key. H and G are right next to each other. All right, so I have some keys, just in case those become important. Oops, oh, there's lava. Uh, I could do something about this lava. Check it out. Resist heat. There we go. All right, let's go south. Fight this blob first. Someday my stats will grow enough that I have dexterity to disarm these traps without hurting myself every single time. It's not every single time, but it's most of the time. The blob didn't move for a moment, so I thought it might be friendly, but so far nothing has been friendly in this entire scenario. Okay, I'm going to sweep up all the traps in this room so that I can call it clear. The one to the north is clear. I know I went through there, so there shouldn't be any. And lava poses no threat now because I have resist heat. Okay, I think I got everything. So this room appears to be clear. Hey, bats, you spawned. South. Blood Phantom there. Oh, Archer's shooting me, all right. Had line of sight. And a Black Phantom, oh boy. So, somebody to deal with. So I'm going to heal first. 
Disarm this, and zap, zap, zap. Phantom is also zapping. Using the same attack sprite, okay. Um, well, I got into a situation here. I think I'll probably be fighting him on his own tile. So come down the column third from the right. That'll be fine, it's just the most efficient way to get this done. Zap, five. Okay, great. Just needed one more zap. I could tell there was a trap there because the phantom wasn't coming after me. Uh, you dodged. So depending on my character's speed, as I understand it, uh, sometimes a... Uh, I can outrange you, check it out. I have a range advantage for once on an enemy. Snake couldn't reach me there. Uh, depending on my character's speed stat, which is not particularly high for this character, uh, sometimes I'll get an extra turn compared to the enemy turn. Sometimes the enemies on their turn will decide to just randomly walk instead of attacking. Oops. Uh, that would seem to be why the behavior is different on occasion. Whoops, I stepped right into that after revealing it. Seems like these bottom parts never have spikes in them. Uh, that one does, though. Oh, that one does, though. <laughs> Why am I just standing there instead of checking? Okay, I think this room is clear. It would seem so. All right, one more fountain trip. I wonder how many rooms this is. I'm suspecting not a lot, but it could be a lot. You never know. Okay, Python, Mauler, Black Phantom, more of the same. There's a fountain here though, so I don't have to go back for such things, and I can outrange the Mauler. I'm just assuming he's unfriendly. That seems like a safe assumption at this point. I won't be outranging a Black Phantom anytime soon. They have pretty far shots. Oh, well, I just zapped that trap, and so did you. Whoops. So we'll just have a zap fight right here, and I'm gonna run away. Huh, interesting. So even though the Black Phantom is a flying type, it does not choose to fly across the lava here. Okay, great. And warrior... Oh, well, I'm trapped there, of course. Now can I outrange you? I seem to be able to. Great. Yeah, so really getting some benefit out of those uh, stat boosts. Okay, so traps. See, once again, this is a very different experience from oops, uh, other scenarios I've played. Within these extreme limitations, much creativity still manages to flourish. It's honestly pretty impressive just, just how much variety is, is possible in this extremely simple game engine. Alright, I did lose some SP. This kind of goes on. Uh, I don't know how long. Okay, so you won't ever step on that lava. Okay, so let's choose an angle of attack that's going to be good for me. I'm going to enter from here. So I can lure the knight out and fight him alone. Uh, eventually. Get the mauler from a distance so he can't do anything to me. You've been mauled. I right, took your job. All right. No handy fountain in this room, so I'll do it the other way. All right, there we go. That's a big heal. All right, Black Phantom time. Oh, well, <laughs> of course. It's always a trap. I think, stat-wise, the Black Phantom might be the second strongest creature just behind the Wyvern. Uh, I haven't checked exactly, though. But that is my understanding. All right, Sloth is kind of, oops, uh, medium strength. Stronger than a skeleton, weaker than a, oh, okay, Assassin can get me from there. Yep, okay, we have the same range. 
So no safe way to do that. Sloth has only a range of one. What a strange way to draw a sloth. <laughs> that sprite just will never not be weird to me. Oop. Okay, I'm almost dead. Uh, it'll be quicker to go for the fountain in the previous room. Thanks, Resist Heat. Without you, this would be a slightly different experience. Alright, next room. Oh yeah, this just goes on. Um, I could bypass some of these things just to sort of learn how large this scenario is overall. Uh, but I kind of want the experience. That's the point of going through these easy scenarios, so my character can be ready for the later ones. As easy scenarios go, this is not the easiest. I mean, it kind of is because there are plenty of heal opportunities, but... You know, okay, Warlock getting me from a distance. Good for you. And as much as, as anything, this is kind of a patience check. It's unfortunate that the vertical dimension is an even number. Uh, otherwise, these could check her a bit better. But as it is, we get this awkward transition zone in every, uh, every room. How serious is a stone man? Okay, so Warlock hits hard but doesn't have a lot of uh, health. Stone man's range appears to be one, so I'll just hide in the lava. All right. Learning about enemies. I wonder if um, higher scenario difficulty gives better stats like range to dudes like stone men. Or if they always keep their range and just get more strength. Guess we'll find out when we play higher difficulty scenarios. G is next to H, by the way. Okay, next room. How many have I gone through by now? One, two, three, four, five, six. There was still a trap there. I missed one. Whoops, I stepped on it twice. All right. Oh boy, Phantom has an angle on me. All right, this is getting more serious. There are the, oh boy. Okay, I did not clear this room as it turns out. Um, okay, we have a situation here. If I'm next to that fountain, I'm pretty safe. So I'll just use normal attacks here, just heal carefully. So again, without resist heat, this would be a more dangerous spot to stand, of course. All right. Um, now here's a very dangerous spot to stand. I made it less so. So I'm using up my zaps. I don't want to do that because I have healing here. So therefore I don't... Ah! Need it. Yikes. Assassin found me. I'm going to take care of him before I deal with this phantom. There's another uh, blood phantom over there. Okay, there we go. Alright, traps. What is your range exactly? More than mine. Oh, nope, no zap. Have fountain. Yeah, blood phantom's significantly less... Uh, less serious than black. Things seem to be placed more or less randomly here. All right, next room. Got a zap regenerator, so that's nice. And that Mauler appears to be stuck on a trap. There's n one lava tile in this room. So yeah, the lava I'm finding is a real good asset because I can trap a monster behind it and shoot through it to get at them. Uh, that one is not in a position where I can really do that to the Mauler. Fire Demon's kind of serious, as it turns out. All right, that felt quicker than going for a fountain. 
Alright, so I'm just gonna have to take the damage from the mauler. That's fine. It's a lot of damage. Ouch. I got mauled. Okay. There we go. Traps. It's kind of satisfying just to sweep through here and clean up the mess that's placed here for me to clean up. Alright, that cost most of my health. How's my experience doing? Pretty good. I think I have at least two levels queued up, which might just give me... Yeah, I can get to level 13, actually. Right, so take first two digits and add one, and that's the level that I can be at, which means my stats can go up. Excellent. I mean, this is just non-stop combat, so yes, of course it would, uh, would be good for my experience level. Combat and trap disarming. And eventually I'll probably get a goal object. Which will be the third action that gives me experience. This is great! Suddenly there's a room title! <laughs> so up to... I don't know how many tall the map is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm gonna guess 16. That looks like about 16. So up to uh, 8 more including this room. A lot of fountains. There hasn't been any pre-placed money that I uh, noticed. The objects used have been pretty limited. Just fountain, zap generator, stone wall, lava, trap, uh, and enemy. Of various types. I feel like things are speeding up as I go along, and I guess as I learn the patterns and how to deal with them. Yep. All right, fountains in previous room. I don't know if this will ever turn to the side, but if it only ever f sticks to this pattern and keeps going down, here we go. Many quizzers to the woods. Okay, so I can just bypass the quizzers with lava. I'm going to go to the other side of those and then see if I can answer any of their queries. Well, let's try from here. What's the hurry? Uh... Nothing? <laughs> What's the hurry? Okay, I'm going to check, um... So clearly that was not clued. Unless there was a hidden passage somewhere to, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna ch- Oh, lowercase. Alright, you're different. <laughs> um, to the woods. Alright, so changing styles suddenly. Oh! Is there, like, an actual scenario hidden in here behind the checkers? So, onyx key, boat, suddenly, the format changes. Floor type was set to floor, like it was in the checkers. Okay, river by a statue. All right, Colin the child decided to uh, start building a different kind of scenario now. Wonder if I should have had a boat with me. I could have had a boat with me. What if I don't? There's the crown. Okay, wow, the crown. Let's look around a bit more. So I did find the end. Got off the checkerboard. There was a way to go south. I have not found a place to spend this onyx key. That's not necessary for winning the scenario, as it turns out. All right, don't just hold the key. There could be like, end of the woods. Okay, well, there we go. There could be unfinished rooms that trap me in them if I accidentally take two steps inside. We've seen those. So just holding the key can be dangerous. Hi, Bat. Hi, Bat. Bat is dead. Alright, well that was checkers. Good stuff. For what it was, that was a pretty fun time. 
All right, and my character got lots of experience. Yeah, ready for advancement and stats, and therefore also spell points. So I'll get a new spell next time, and that will be nice. All right, see you again for another scenario. A small addendum, because I forgot to do it before. The answer to the quizzer's questions was don't ask. The lowercase one wants don't dot ask. The uppercase ones want don't space ask. Now we know. <laughs>